Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Misty Hino with Misty Hino's Lego Robotics. Hopefully you guys are having a great summer. Um, as you can see from my class, I'm having a great summer teaching robotics for summer program. And here's what I had for today. Today I have, um, I had a watcher say, hey Misty Hino, can you parallel park your EV3 robot? So this video, you're gonna get a chance to see me try to park or parallel park my EV3 robot. Stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. So I'm gonna use the same harvester robot and if you guys want to check this out, all I did was I did this to my ultrasonic sensor. I just put a couple of, of the H pieces together and then I just put it right here on the front of my robot. So I have the ultrasonic sensor facing to the side and I'm going to go ahead and show you the program and then I'm going to go ahead and parallel park this guy. Okay, sorry if the video and audio is a little not the greatest. I left my microphone in school, but here you go. This is the best I can do for the program. So I have the forward going on and I just dropped it to 10% uh, motor speed just so I give my ultrasonic sensor here a chance to see. And I set it at 20 inches. You can set this for whatever distance you feel uh, the, the parked cars are gonna be. So my robot goes forward, it sees something, um, and if it sees something less than 20 inches, um, I had it go a little forward um, just because it was seeing the very edge of that, um, the car or tissue box that I'm going to be using for it. So I have the robot going a little forward just to set my, my robot up to do um, the backwards. I'm going to stop it just so that I give the robot a chance to kind of reset here. So there's the backwards. There's the backwards that's gonna get me into the parking spot. I'm gonna go ahead and, um, no, my bad. This block is to rotate the front part so I can angle into the parking space. And this is gonna be the backup. The backup into the space. And then I'm gonna basically spin or rotate just to fit into the parking lot spot. So let me just kind of back up real quick and do that again because I messed up. So there is my forward, really slow. So my ultrasonic sensor sees something, if it sees something less than 20 inches, it's gonna go forward just a tad, just 100 degrees. It's gonna stop just to kind of reset my robot here. The front right part of my robot is going to rotate to angle into the parking space. There is my backwards so it backs up into the space and then just to straighten out my robot there is the spin to kind of straighten out my robot so let's now go ahead and go to the robot and I use tissue boxes as my park cars to see me park this car Hey, not bad, huh? Not too bad. Um, you know, there's different ways you can do this program. So don't, you know, for one second, think that my program's the only way. You can definitely mix and uh, do different blocks to get it to park that way. But that's just my program there. So there you go. That's how Mr. Hino parallel parks his Lego EV3 Mindstorms robot. Okay, guys, hopefully you continue to have a great summer. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out.